So this is not a video about top balancing. Um, there's plenty of them out there. Um, some are poorly done and inaccurate. Some of them are good. If you want to know about top balancing, um, check out Will Prowse. Um, he, uh, he does a really good job with that. So we, uh, we have 29 LifePo 4 cells in parallel. And um, right now we have a very good situation. We have a 10 amp charger charging at 10 amps. Um, voltage is set at 3.62 ish. And um, right now we're charging at 3.52. Um, and it's a constant current charge as opposed to a constant voltage charge. So I just want you to see what I learned here and how we got to this point. So what I've done now is I removed the 12 gauge wire from the um, connecting the batteries to the power supply and replaced it with regular old clip jumpers. And oops, um, I'm only charging at two amps. Voltage is set at the same level. Um, we're doing a constant voltage charge because we're um, not maxed out on current. So how did we get here? So the way I troubleshoot stuff is to look for voltage drop. And what I found was the voltage drop across this clip lead was right around 100 millivolts. So it's 100 millivolts on each of the two um, clip leads. Um, wasn't sure if that was significant or not, but it kind of seemed like it was. So let's move on to the next step. So the next step is to measure the resistance of the lead. And 0.3 ohms. Once again, 0.3 ohms doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when you look at the circuit overall, um, you're going to see that it is. So these are new um, grade A lysian cells, um, and when they left the factory, they had 0.12 milliohm resistance, internal resistance, um, which is really small. But when you put 0.12 milliohms in parallel 29 times, um, it becomes a really, really, really tiny resistance. So this is the result of uh, all that higher mathematics. Um, we have a power supply with a given voltage, doesn't matter what it is, um, going through a test lead with three tenths of an ohm resistance, another test load with test lead with three tenths of an ohm resistance. Mm -hmm. And the internal resistance of 29 batteries in parallel, which is somewhere near spit. Um, bottom line is, when you're tracking voltage drop, you're going to drop a lot here, and you're going to drop a lot here, and you're going to drop almost nothing here. Poof. So now we're uh, back to the 12 gauge wire, and instead of dropping 100 millivolts across that piece of test lead. Um, we're dropping 32 millivolts across this piece of number 12. Um, we could get that down if uh, need be. Um, I think bigger wire would probably help. Um, that's still pretty significant given the, um, the rest of the circuit. But um, the bottom line is that we're charging at 10 amps instead of 2 amps. Um, and that's a really good thing. I'm going to be starting another channel um, about a boat conversion pretty soon. And uh, I wanted to get this posted though, because um, I thought this might be helpful to a lot of different people. So stay tuned.